He loves his fellow man, and that's what he does. He's not working to uh, show people what he can do with handicaps. He does it out of the uh, goodness of his heart. He has a, a, a Christian need to serve his fellow man, and that's what he does. Well, I've lived in Lindale since 1980, uh, raised three kids. It's been an interesting experience moving here out of Houston, where I spent most of my youth uh, growing up down there, which you can't compare the two locations. Houston's huge. I watched them build the loops, the interstates, all that stuff around there. Before there, though, I lived in West Texas, out in Amarillo, and that's where I started. Uh, my family, most of my family is in Houston. Uh, except for my two married sons who happen to be in the Tyler area, so I get to see them whenever I want to pick on the kids, mess with them, which is a lot of fun. But most of my family is pretty far away except for them. I actually met Mr. Wilson at um, the dance studio that I worked for when I was in high school, did a benefit for him when he um, lost his arm, and so that's how I met him. He's just such an inspiration. He's so, so giving. He, um, he gives of himself tirelessly all the time. Well, you, you have to admire uh, Larry for his attitude. I mean, he's, he has donated probably more time to uh, uh, community service than anyone I know. He may have a few uh, minor handicaps, but you wouldn't know it by looking at Larry. I mean, he doesn't let anything slow him down. My faith has been the thing that's kept me going. You know, I've had some tough times. I've been divorced. Uh, you know, I got my hand torn off uh, uh, in, in an accident at a store that I owned in, in a, uh, a, meat, a butcher shop, a meat store that I had. Uh, and that, that, was, that was a tough thing. It really was, particularly since I was working alone because people, other people decided that they just wanted to take a day off. And I couldn't close the store. Uh, I got hurt because I stopped to help a lady who had a flat tire in my parking lot and I was hot and sweaty and kind of fussing and out of sorts and so I got careless. But it was the support that I got after that that really strengthened my faith because the church support and the people of faith with their support, uh, emotional thing, you know, it, it, it strengthened me. But I understand how people suffer and how they're weak and, I, and I'm not going to be weak so I do things a lot because I'm not going to be weak. I'm going to do anything and everything I can for people, uh, no matter how difficult it is for me. And I don't tell people how hard it is for me to get around. Uh, walking is difficult. It gets more difficult all the time just because of age. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to climb up in the bleachers until I just can't climb up in them anymore to shoot basketball and volleyball and just whatever else is going on. Because I just feel like I need to do that as an example. He works full time at the food pantry. Uh, I admire him because I, I work at the food pantry also two days a month. Larry is there every day. <laughs> so you, you've got to admire him for what he gives to the community in that respect. I'm always doing something for somebody or for something. I work, you know, I work at the uh, David Powell Food Pantry and I manage the inventory there. So I'm there five days a week. We pick up food from Walmart five days a week. Uh, I work with youth volunteers and Smith County Probation Department volunteers to, to sort the food, get on the shelves. I even have the life skills class from the high school comes in and works once a week, uh, which is a real blessing. I love those kids. But I do that, I do that five days a week. But I also work with Boy Scouts every Tuesday night and I work with youth group from my church every Wednesday night. And then if there's sports going on, I'm at the stadium Thursday and Friday shooting pictures, or at the theater when there's a play shooting pictures, or walk around my yard shooting pictures. I do a lot of picture taking.
I got my first camera and it took me arguing with my dad for a year to get one. That was when I was 10 years old. But I love taking pictures and I play with it and all kinds of things. When I got a little older, uh, I fixed it up so I could use it underwater and I've taken pictures since. I got real involved in it in high school as a senior because I got my dad's camera and I shot pictures uh, during football games. Uh, I was a football trainer, so I could have the camera on the sidelines, so at halftime I'd shoot pictures, and I've done it ever since. You go to the parade, Mr. Wilson's there taking pictures. You go to a school event, he's there taking pictures. He's always there. Now, I got involved in doing Christian concerts because a guy that I worked with uh, started doing it, and he needed a photographer. And then he needed somebody that knew how to build websites. And I got to meet some of the neatest people in the world. Great Christian people. Uh, there was a young lady uh, named Katie. She's 16 years old. She was the, the opening act for two other acts. So, you know, she was the minor person. But when, when she sang, I posted on, on our website that she was going to make it big someday. Her name was Katie Hudson. Well, she moved to London, and there's another Hudson there, so she changed her name. Uh, and then she changed genres. Her name is Katy Perry now. Well, I mean... We say thank you to him all the time, but I just don't think he really understands what it means to us, the pictures that he does for us, for the, and, and without ever asking for anything in compensation. He does it just because out of the good of his heart, he shares his talent, which is well, you know, what God wants us all to do is share what we can give.